Hey guys, welcome back to Chaos Core Tech. My name's Garrett, and today we are going to be making Super Meat Boy. Holy crap, I need to shave. Well, I normally start off these videos with some modeling time-lapse footage, but uh, we already had this model because this is something we've created previously. We're just going to be printing it way bigger today. Um, Long-time viewers of the channel might remember this little guy. This is the Super Meat Boy that Chelsea created. Um, this was like her second or third model in ZBrush, I believe, and she absolutely killed it. But that video was quite a long time ago, so some new viewers might not be fami familiar with it. So if you guys want to see the original video, click the I up in the corner. You can check that out where we make this little guy here. And this project actually took place while we still had Joel's Traveling G-Max, and um, we really wanted to print something that was just one massive print. So. This is that, and this is the biggest single print we've ever done. And I'll talk more about that after we show some footage of it being assembled and you guys see the final thing. So without further ado, uh, let's get printing. Alright, the print is finished and I wanted to talk a little bit about the process of printing it because like I said it's the biggest thing we've ever done this just in one solid piece. Um, it printed in about 100 hours, I think it was just slightly over 100 hours, so over four days of continuous printing, uh, which by the way the GMAX bossed it. Um, we didn't, there was no failures, nothing. Uh, it just kind of kept trucking along. Um, we had to replace the filament four times I believe, we used over four spools. Um, just uh, barely dipped into the fifth spool. We printed it with Matter Hacker's Build Series PLA and it gave us no issues. It printed really, really nice. The only thing that didn't print perfectly was there was a few wobble lines near the top of the print, but I honestly think that was just because Super Meat Boy was so heavy and as the bed moved back and forth, he kind of shifted, which I feel like is understandable because this thing is heavy. Like I said, it's over four spools of filament, so it is just... Um, it, it is a beast. And we probably could have slowed it down to avoid that a little bit, but overall it still came out very good. Those were just the only noticeable defects on it. Yeah, I just couldn't get over how well the G-Max did with this. Um, I seriously expected a failure and just it worked perfectly. And there's another big project we were doing um, that you guys will see hopefully sometime soon. Um, with the G-Max, it was basically printing for a month straight. And like even overnight, there, there really wasn't a downtime for it. And no failure. So I don't know that I can give much higher praise for a printer than that. So thank you to Matter Hackers for sending over the PLA. Once again, it was their build series PLA. If you want to check that out, it is down in the description. There's lots of cool colors. And also a huge thank you to Joel and the team over at GMAX for letting us use this traveling GMAX. It was super fun to use and we've never been able to use a printer that's got that large of a build volume. So we really tried to put it to its test um, and it, it performed admirably. Also, sorry to those guys that this video took so long to get out. Most everybody knows the reason why at this point. So make sure you guys go show them some love down in the description. So now that it's printed, we're going to kick it off to Chelsea for the post-processing. And she modeled it too. Did I do anything? I think I clicked the start button on the print. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I don't think I did that either. I watched it print. Ladies, get yourself a man that can do both. Film a video and take credit for your work. All right, painting time lapse.
Goodbye, tiny meat boy. Hello, massive meat boy. Man, look at the size difference here. Like I can <laughs> literally set him on top there. He's like the size of one of the eyes. It's freaking ridiculous. So here it is. This is our largest single print ever. Over four spools of filament, over four days of continuous printing. It's Super Meat Boy with his Super Meat Butt. This thing is absolutely ridiculous. So uh, let's go over quickly what Chelsea did to finish this thing. Since this is a really big print and there's not a lot of small detail, um, we thought it'd be the perfect chance to try out XT3, XTC 3D. Say that five times fast. Um, because we've had some, but we've never really found a good project to use it on. So she applied that to Super Meat Boy, and then um, she also wanted a textured look to make it look a little more meaty and not just super clean. So she applied Mod Podge to it, and I believe she just used a sponge and just kind of dabbed it all over the surface to give it that kind of um, textured look that it has. And you can actually still kind of see the wobble lines that I was talking about earlier. Um, we weren't sure how much XTC was going to cover that up and the Mod Podge and stuff like that. Um, it didn't cover it up as much as we wanted to, but um, after those were applied, you can't really go back in and sand because it removes all the work that you've done. But I don't think that they're super noticeable. Then after she had that texture all over there, she primed it and then sprayed some um, dark red spray paint, which is kind of the base color here, to the whole thing. I believe she um, taped off the teeth and stuff like that because they are white and the, the bandage up here. Then after she had the base color, she used her airbrush to add, you know, sort of the, the bruise underneath the eye here and just some of the darker spots around him. And the whole time she was using masking tape to mask off the different areas just to keep um, excess paint from spraying over into the, the hard work she'd already done. And then she just put on the fin finishing touches with a paintbrush and some acrylic paint. And then of course you give the whole thing a clear coat so it can't be damaged by uh, numbskulls like me mishandling it. All right, guys, well, that is it for this project. Let me know what you think. Uh, do you like these giant prints? And also, let us know what your biggest slash longest print has ever been down in the comments below. Once again, huge thank you to Matter Hackers for the filament, GMAX for the printer, and then you guys for watching this video. It really does mean the world. And thank you guys for being so patient. Um, I know it's taken uh, quite a bit longer to get videos back rolling on this channel, but um, it's just kind of been hit after hit with the whole dog situation. So I appreciate you guys being patient with us and not forgetting about us too. That uh, It really does help. And like I said, we, we hope to have some really cool stuff coming up. Um, and hopefully it doesn't take a month to get the next video to you guys. Okay, well, I'm going to wrap it up with that. So thank you again for watching. Like that smash button. My voice just cracked. I don't know what that's about. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that join button if you want to throw a little support our way. It goes a long way to helping us create cool things like this. And until next time, keep creating.